eat at Aston Martin Gaydon. I'm sadly dropping off the Aston Martin DB11 and happily picking up my satin black BMW M3. Now this video is going to be my best attempt at summarising what a fantastic 2016 it has been on Supercars of London and basically saying a huge massive thank you to each and every one of you guys who has either joined the journey in 2016 or been supporting me through 2016. We have created an awesome car community. I love the interaction and the engagement that we have all across the social media platforms and to be honest I just love creating content that you guys enjoy so this video is going to be looking back at some of the best moments of 2016 and what better fitting place to start than Aston Martin I kicked off the year with a kind of like a joke video when I turned 25 trying to call up all of the different manufacturers that are out there thinking that 25 was the magic age for me to be able to drive some of these incredible machines and to be honest that video was a total joke I had no idea what was in store for me in 2016 and it just so happened that somehow I was handed the keys to some pretty incredible machines. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! to February and February was the start of our first road trip of 2016 and one that I was very much looking forward to not necessarily for the car that we were driving we were in a 3.2 litre Ford Ranger in bronze or gold or orange however you want to describe the colour it was an experience that I will never forget. Starting in the south of Spain, myself and Sam from Seen Through Glass, we flew down to Malaga, picked up the Ford Ranger at the airport, drove directly up to a place called Ronda, which I fell in love with. It was an amazing sort of sea of fields and hills, and there were some fantastic driving roads up there. Not that we were in the best driving car for that sort of thing. And then we made our way down into Marbella, where we did flyboarding. Now this entire road trip, featured many, many awesome experiences that were very difficult to portray on YouTube. So I don't think they were my most popular videos of 2016, but as a personal memory of mine, we went on an epic, epic adventure. And in a car that, because we're not used to driving massive pickup trucks, both Sam and I massively fell in love with that car, mile after mile or kilometer after kilometer in Europe. I think we managed to do over a thousand kilometers in one tank of diesel and we drove all the way up the coast of Spain, stayed the night just north of Barcelona, drove into the centre of France, had a wine tasting experience, did a bit of off-roading, drove across to Cormea in Italy, went snowboarding for the first time which was definitely an experience and one I'd probably like to forget because I spent most of my time on my ass. and then we ended up woo, at the Geneva Motor Show and everyone knows what happens at the Geneva Motor Show. Moving on to well I think it's safe to say that GoPros are not my friends this week but anyway as I was saying moving on to my discovery of rear wheel drive cars oh, thrust <laughs> My first supercar, the Audi R8, obviously had the Quattro system. My Lamborghini also had a four-wheel drive system. And it wasn't until I was looking for a replacement to the Lamborghini that I discovered just how much fun you can have in a rear-wheel drive car. <laughs> they would 
be a lot more fun to drive and experience throughout 2016 than a four-wheel drive car, which is why I went AMG GTS, and then after the Audi A1, this was such an exciting prospect, the BMW M3. <laughs> The next experience, memory, moment of 2016 that will stick so close in my memory for so long, what was this? We are getting excited, we can hear the F1 car. Talking about one amazing trip, let's talk about another that I joined Sam from Seen Through Glass on right at the end of his seven week stint in California. Being able to join him on that trip for the last two weeks and kind of get a taste of what he was experiencing whilst we were out there. Fantastic weather, an amazing car culture, an amazing car community amazing opportunities, amazing driving roads, amazing cars. There was so much. The lifestyle that is Los Angeles and California is one that is gonna stay in my head and heart for so long. And Sam turned up. Sam. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> Mate, this is hilarious. Wait, wait, let me try this. Okay, now you get in. <laughs> yeah, but I've still got another bag. Do you want to try and put that in the boot? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the roof. <laughs> I can't even reach my camera. <laughs> What's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford, bro. Pow. It's pow. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, that to me is the summary of some of my best moments of 2016. Let me know in the comment box below what your best memories of Supercars of London are in 2016. 2017 is all about creating memories, going on adventures, and bringing you guys along on the journey as well. So I would just like to say one more time for 2016, even though I'm pretty sure this video is going live on the first day of 2017. Thank you so much for the support, and thank you so much for all of your car love. So please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you incredibly soon for a load of fun in 2017. Cheers guys. This is the view at the moment. He can't break anywhere near as late as me or, or travel through the corners as quick as I can, but are we gonna try and make it fun? <laughs> Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi. Các bạn hãy bấm like, comment và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha. 